Hi, my name is Joe and I'm a musician and I just released my first solo EP under the name Elephants and Dogs uh, via Lookup Records out of Seattle. I know it's musicians getting beers and bars, but I'm in a forest and I'm not drinking anything. So I'm just going to answer some questions instead. So how was the EP recorded? So it was recorded uh, a couple summers ago at Soleil Sound, which is a studio in Toronto that uh, doesn't doesn't exist anymore. It got shut down. And um, with my friend uh, Zach Van Zumren, uh, who's a sound engineer, and you can find him online at ZVZ Sound. He's really great if you want to record with him. And so we basically would go to the studio uh, in off hours and just uh, and uh, basically just record some tracks for fun. And my uh, other friend, Jack Davies, who's an amazing bass player, came and he recorded bass on a couple of the tracks too. And it was just basically for fun, just a way to, you know, pass the time. Uh, but then recently I showed some of my really close friends the music and they thought it was really good and that I should uh, pursue it more. So I sent it out to a bunch of places and uh, look up records in Seattle. They got back to me and they said they wanted to support the release, which is really great. And I'm really grateful for that. And so, yeah, that's, that's how I'm here today. So how did I get my start in music? So I've always loved music. I've been playing guitar since I was 11 and I'm 23 now. And I, uh, in high school, I played you know, in, in bands and I played in school bands and stuff. But really, I, I would say my start came when I left, uh, when I moved to Kingston to go to university at Queens. And uh, when I was in Kingston, I started my first band, Jimbo. And uh, that was definitely when I first, you know, learned about independent music and started playing shows at bars and learned about networking and recording in studios and songwriting and got to meet really experienced people that were really great and basically um that's when i really got my start started taking it more seriously uh so yeah definitely in and then with that that snowballed and we ended up getting to play shows you know in, in toronto we've definitely moved to playing more toronto shows obviously not now because of covid and you know shows in montreal and got to go around a bit and i started playing in another band as well called bow welland um and so i've been keeping busy with that or i was keeping busy with that pre-covid but you guys should check out both of those bands bow welland and jimbo they're on all the streaming platforms and they've got new uh, new music coming out soon too that i play guitar on so definitely want to check that out. Okay, why elephants and dogs? So when I was, uh, so like I mentioned, I play in Jimbo, which is like a psychedelic hard rock band. And sometimes uh, in that band, when I'd write songs, I'd work on them for like a number of months at a time. And it'd be quite a while between when the song was written and like when we finally got to play it live or we finally recorded it. And sometimes in the process of writing that song, you, I just get so lost in my own thoughts and like tangled in my own thoughts. And although I love writing songs that like those types of songs, like sometimes, you know, it can take the fun out of it a little bit. So with Elephants and Dogs, so many of the songs were just like made in one night. Like we just, uh, I just had like a couple ideas and we just layered after layered, just different parts. And I thought of the lyrics on the spot and all the melodies on the spot. And that was really fun and, and really, you know, like a back to basics approach. So um, I figured that I named the project Elephants and Dogs because the first thing I learned on guitar was the names of the strings, which is a mnemonic, mnemonic, the memory thing for it is elephants and dogs grow big ears. So elephants and dogs. Okay, so a funny story. Uh, so Bill, uh, who runs Lookup Records and I, like after the EP was released, we were, you know, looking online to see what playlists it's been added to and keep track of like what blogs it's been added to. And I got, like, Elephants and Dogs got tagged in this post from, like, Oor Magazine, like, O-O-R Magazine. And uh, it was all in Dutch. And then I Googled it, and it's, like, the oldest music publication in the Netherlands somehow found this so my song and wrote about it. And it was all in Dutch, so I did, like, Google Translate it. And there was, in the write-up, there was a quote from me that said, uh, I hear a sentence, and that sentence becomes the inspiration for a song. And the thing is, is that I've never spoken to them and I've never publicly said that quote. So I don't know where they got it from. But the creepy thing is, is that when I showed Bill, him and I noted that in one of the first Zoom interviews that him and I had together, uh, like before he signed me, when he just wanted to get to know me, I told him that. I told him that like the inspiration for a lot of my songs is I uh, hear someone say a sentence and that's sort of just like I go down the rabbit hole, I spiral with my thoughts and it becomes a song. 
And so him and I were wondering, how did they get a hold of this quote when it was only said in a private Zoom meeting? You know, I don't, I don't know how it happened. He mentioned to me that in all the PR he sent out, that was never mentioned anywhere. It's not on my website, it's, it's nowhere. So I don't know how they found it. They're somehow listening in. Maybe they're listening in right now. Okay, how is music the great communicator? So it's a hard question to answer, but I would say that, um, I would say that melodies on their own like convey a lot of meaning. Like if a picture, um, you know, says a thousand words, I'd say like, you know, a melody says like a million. Like I think it's like very, a very powerful communicator of emotion. And so besides lyrics or language, you know, the music itself, no matter what culture you come from, will make you feel a certain thing, no matter what. And I think that's like why music's the great communicator. It's hard to explain, but like music on its own conveys emotion without lyrics. And I think that, that my opinion on that like definitely influences my own music. A lot of people have been saying to me like, oh, Joe, on the EP, like I can't understand anything you're saying. And I think that that's sort of the point because uh, like words and lyrics like are sort of secondary. It's like the, it's the melody and the vibe of the music that's most important. Because music, lyrics can be like misinterpreted, right? So, so yeah, that's, that's why I think, uh, and definitely love the music I like. Like I love 90s rock and I love shoegaze music and that's like infamous for no one knows what they're saying. But I still love it anyway. I still get the, I get, you know, an emotional response from it. And so, and I think in shoegaze music, like the vocals are just supposed to be another texture. It's not supposed to be the forefront like it is in literally every genre. So I think that's something I also take in with, with my music. Like the vocals are just, a, are just a layer, just like everything else is a layer. Like onions have layers. And I think it's interesting that like um, one of the songs on the EP, You Won't Be Seeing Me Around, it uh, like a lot of like, uh, people have said like, oh, I don't know what you're saying. But uh, this one, but this, I, like now that the music is out there, right? And it's been added to YouTube channels or whatever lots of random people have li been listening to it and this one comment says it's a great song but uh the lyrics are really stupid <laughs> and um and it's interesting because like they are and I, I admit that they are but that's sort of like the point of the song because the song is just about apathy and uh like you won't be seeing me around you know it's like i don't care i'm leaving it's it's, it's over forever uh so the lyrics themselves are simple and stupid because uh they don't have to be anything more than that um, because yes, that's what, the, that's what the song's about. It's about leaving forever. So you don't really need deep lyrics for that. Uh, but that definitely plays into like my opinion that like, you know, music is the great communicator on its own. You don't really need the lyrics. Like in that song specifically, the lyrics are definitely secondary. It's all about the melody and, and the vibe. Okay, so uh, next question is, um, what can we expect or what can you guys expect from new music? So I, I think the EP went well as a release. I think it did well um, so far. So I think we're going to be moving forward with an album um, and Look Up Records, I, I think, is interesting in supporting it. So that's all good news. And um, basically, I think you can expect a lot of the... I, I still love catchy songs, like You Won't Be Seeing Me Around or Damned If I Do. So I think there'll definitely be a couple of those. I definitely I still am interested in that kind of, of, of you know dream pop inspired music. Uh, but I think also there's going to be, because it's an album, I'm going to have a lot more space. So I think there is going to be a lot of room for very noisy shoegaze guitars, maybe slightly heavier guitar driven tracks, um, maybe very soft tracks. I think there's going to be like a wider dynamic range. And I think it's all going to be very dark, um, which uh, I think that's just how it's going to be. That's basically what the stuff I've been working on sounds like that right now. And uh, I think that might be the vibe. Um, but I don't know when I'm going to get to record it. I'm looking forward to whenever I get to record it. Maybe the vibe might change. You never know. You really, you really, all of us know nothing. Um, but I have a feeling that it's probably going to be a little bit darker. Um, and, uh, but I'm very happy and I'm very excited. I think people are really going to like it. I'm really proud of the songs I've been working on so far. I think they are catchy. They've got, they've got a lot of stuff going on. And I think, uh, I think people are going to, people are going to dig them. But so I guess, which, what can you expect? A little bit of, a little bit of what you know. A little bit of what you don't know and everything in between okay and so uh, to close up I'm elephants and dogs uh, thank you for watching the interview um, you can if you want to learn more about me I think the best thing you can do is like type in look up records uh, Seattle 
and find the website, it's, it should come up. And then on the website, you'll see my artist page, Elephants and Dogs, and that has everything in it. It has a music video, it has my bio, has an interview with me, has links to all my streaming platforms. So it's really a one-stop shop for everything Elephants and Dogs. So look up records, Seattle, Elephants and Dogs. You Google all of that in the Googles, and it'll you see me. Um, also, um, my bands Jimbo and Bo Welland are releasing new music, so Jimbo's coming out with an EP. So definitely uh, follow them, they're on all social media, so you can find them, Jimbo, the band. Um, and uh, so definitely follow them, because that EP I'm very proud of, uh, and it's coming out soon, so check it out. And then Bo Welland as well is also releasing an EP that I'm very proud of as well. So definitely follow them, they're also on all social media. And uh, yeah, it would mean a lot to me if you guys checked out both of those releases, because I think, I think also by listening to this past EP, and these other EPs that are coming out, I really do feel like within my guitar playing and my songwriting, you can really see, you know, a theme. And, um, you know, like I think when you start making music, you always think like, oh, do I have a style? Do I have a, you know, who am I really? And you don't know, but now that there's a little bit, I have a bigger body of music that's coming out and you can listen to it all separately or all together, you can, I'm starting to see that there is, there is a vibe to what I do and I'm, I'm happy with it, I'm proud of it, and I continue to support it, and I think you guys will like those bands if you liked Elephants and Dogs. I'm trying to say, you know, it's... Anyway, so, uh, so thank you for the interview. Um, Elephants and Dogs, check us out, and uh, I'll see you around. Or I won't, actually. You won't be seeing me around. <laughs>